Hello everybody and welcome to level, level 36, to episode 36 of the Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. Today we are going through the distortion world and hopefully being able to figure out what happened to this said distortion world. This rock's lap. It appears to move if you step in a certain spot. Okay. We'll get to see Garatina if he comes going down. In the distortion world, we are really are traveling downward. Okay, we're going, okay. I like I said, I'm, this is an area that I've never been to, so I have no idea what is happening and how everything is happening, so. Mesprey. Oh boy, the, the inverted controls. Something I am definitely not used to. So this is why I couldn't catch them before. Because I was in a spot where they're pretty much story locked until after this point. Which, I mean, I vaguely recall them being story locked. So, it definitely was one of those scenarios where I was like, wait, what's happening? Wait, what? No! Oh, that's okay. I'm like, at this point, I'm like getting lost. Okay, we've made it to Cynthia. Legend told of, of our told of the world on the other side of our cis world. Why does this world exist? Why is Garatina here all alone? There's so much that can't be explained, but we have to do something. Let's split up. Okay. We're getting closer. I feel like we're getting closer to where we need to be. Except for we're kind of supposed to be traveling down, and I feel like we're just not traveling down. No. Yeah, like, what happened there? Cause like I feel like Yeah, so that's a dead end. Okay, we can go in that way, okay. And there we go, so we're going further down. So that's good. Anytime that you're going down, it's a good thing, I guess, in this area. Because it means you're getting closer to where you need to be. So, there we go, that's further travel. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting closer. Oh boy, Cyrus is here. That shadowy boat one isn't that shadowy boat one isn't here. It abandoned him here, but then disappeared somewhere further down. It wasn't continental nearly interfere with my plan. Incidentally, you understand where that concept <laughs> of that con that concept of genes yes. If it's true, you have impressed me. Genes can be considered blueprints of all life forms, including humans and both my life. Genes are contained in DNA and a DNA strand. A DNA strand consists of two chains of opposing characteristics in a spiral. If one of the chains can be warped to be broken, the other chain another chain would be replicated. The other one or the other cannot exist without the opposite. Do you understand that I'm not going with this? It is a bizarre world. Time is slow, space is stable, and the only shadow 
not only the shadowy world is the but this world is the opposite of our world. It, it, our world has changed. It's like the two changes composing a strand of DNA. The two worlds must be balancing each other to remain in existence. With the, without one, the other cannot exist. The shadowy Pokemon must play a role in keeping the world in balance. That's why it must be. That's why it must appear here and brought me here. The shadowy Pokemon must have made this bizarre world. That's why trying to change our world disturbed it and made it reveal itself. But that is all irrelevant. What matters is defeating that Pokemon and making this world disappear. I won't allow it to interfere with me again. With it gone, neither the world will be. Neither world will be able to revert to its original state. Why? Honestly, like, really, why? Like, what is the point in doing that? Like, I get that, yes, you'll be able to kind of control the world, hada, 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 but there's no other reason other than you're just plain wanting control. I really hope I don't have to, like, go through the area and, like, try and figure out how to get back, because I'm not going to remember how to get back, I'm going to be honest. Oh, Yuxi, what do you want? I have to push, the oh no, I have to push the strength rocks. Oh no, it's even more of a puzzle. Oh, and we have to surf. Now, no Pokemon lives here, so... Okay, so that's not the right one. Which means this might be the right one. No. Oh boy. We're fine. We're getting to the part in the puzzle where. Oh wait, can I just jump that? I could have. I was like, hold on. Oh, hey, Cynthia. This place seems to be a giant puzzle. Maybe Garatina wants to test those who visit here. It appears that we can't go on unless we solve this puzzle. Let's move some boulders that can be moved. Blah blah blah. This Pokemon of the lake. Pokemon of the lake seem eager to show us something. They do. Almost like they know the solution to the puzzle. Yuxi's he's happy. I think Yuxi's happy because I was able to get what I needed. From that. Oh, what do you do? Basically telling me to do the same thing I just did. Okay. Imagine if he came in here without strength. I don't, actually, I think that's impossible. Because... I feel like this game would prevent you from doing that. Oh no, we're going up again. Oh boy. Uh, 
Oh, Garatina. Alright, so that did nothing. Oh no, we keep going up! Ah! Wait, is that a good thing? I'm hoping that it is. Okay, I feel like I'm going backwards. Because, I mean... It just feels opposite of what we've been doing this entire time. That sucks. That really does suck that I was going backwards. Okay, well. It's telling me something. I don't mess up. Okay. Sorry, I'm like deep in thought and concentration. Um, I mean, I feel like I should be right now because I have to... I've got a lot that I have to think about. Because this is definitely not an easy section. Cause like, I have to go now all the way around. I'm gonna drop down. Oh no. Uh oh. Cyrus is back, baby. Is this the time we fight Cyrus? Oh, shoot. That was a. That was a. Um, wow. They did a very good job at, like, 
making it look like that wasn't what was happening. Or that 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 that, that was what was happening. Gotta go, I'm like massive props on that one. I'm riding a waterfall without the HM waterfall. Probably because I'm just going down it. Oh, that's right, I am going down it. Okay. Wow. Oh, there we go. There's Azelf. Azelf's gonna tell me to push that rock. The being of, um, something. The being of willpower. It's like the being of something I can't remember. <laughs> okay, so we drop that down. There we go. Ah, okay. So we did it. Okay. Why can't you do it to those? I know that. Why can't. So it's like, why can't. I know that they can hold down the fort against Palkia and Garatina, but they can't do it against or Palkia and Dialga, but they can't do it against Garatina. Like that doesn't make sense. That's what Cynthia's saying, basically. That there's like no reason why that shouldn't be a thing, but it just it casually is a thing. This is it. Garatina is up ahead. So you are already here. Why do you seek to change the world? If you hate our world, you should just go off somewhere alone. Find somewhere where you can live without seeing others. Why should why should I run and hide from the world that and yet and have to wait quietly? My aim is to rid our world of the vague and incomplete thing that we call spirit. And freeing ourselves of that, our world can be made complete. That is my justice. No one can interfere. I won't lose. Not to that shadowy Pokemon. Not in any worthless world. Okay! Level 55 Cyrus here! So I gotta turn up the volume again because I don't. Oh. I guess it's already up. It's my TV volume that's down, that's right, okay. Typhlosion is going to be his first mod out of five, and um, yeah, Typhlosion is not really the biggest issue in my opinion. I can just, find, I can pop a swap pretty easily into Shelly, because we are fully healed for this fight. Thank you, the Supra. So, Typhlosion is out here with the Fire Punch, and I don't really know, I feel like it's not going to do too much damage. Yeah, 179 damage. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and just start this thing down. It's gonna use acid armor to cut. Let me make sure I turn off my phone. Because my phone is okay. It is indeed off, I think. Indeed, it is. Okay. Perfect. I was like, I don't know if my phone's off, but I have to go to work here soon. So, um, I gotta keep it on. Or off. Okay, Typhlosion did not die, sadly. Um. And with it not dying, I'm just gonna cut. I'm not gonna. Oh, was done with me! I knew you were gonna full restore! I knew you were going to fully store. You have them. We missed cut. Wow, that was even more dumb of me. Okay. Well, we are going to still continue to surf. Because <coughs> maybe that was a low roll. Maybe we can get a high roll. No, okay. That was about the mid roll. And we might as well just surf. Get this Typhlosion out of here. And so we don't have to worry about Typhlosion again this rest of this playthrough. Actually, no, we might have to worry about it later. Okay, Typhlosion is gone. Now, that is perfectly fine with me, as Luca's gonna get 1164 points. Salamance is the next mod, 
We haven't had something that Dan can just come out against in a long time. Now, hopefully this is not the level 55 ace, but there's a chance. You never know. It is the level 54, so it is not the ace. It is the secondary. So, that is fine. Ice Beam should Oko the Salamence. I don't know why I was like, hopefully it's not the level 55. I kind of would have loved to have a level 55 be super easy for me to kill. But... Salamance is gone with that quad effective move. Two down, three to go. This fight so far has been easier than the other one. Sand Slash is next. We are going to 100% swap. And I'm going to go into Bulbous because Bulbous, I feel like we will have a better thing. Plus, it'll level up. So, is this the ace? Yes, this is the ace. So, we will not have to worry about the ace the rest of this playthrough. Uh, this is the final Cyrus battle, which is kind of crazy to even think about. This is literally the finale of Cyrus. So, ooh, is that a Citrus Berry? Probably, because most of them have that. Okay, yep, Citrus Berry. Woo! <laughs> okay, if you would have landed the guillotine, I would have been really mad, because, um, yeah, I would just would have been mad. Oh, no, you still have a chance to land that. Okay, you missed that, okay. I was like, guillotine? No, 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 no. Let's not. Let's let's not die to a guillotine today. We've already died to a fissure uh, in the Pokemon X. So, like, not completely, obviously. We lost them on to fissure in Pokemon X. We do not need to do them on to Oko move again. Um, Kabudops. Oh, we're staying in on that. I'm okay, well, this battle went flawlessly, basically. Stone Edge. That's fine. Hit me for whatever damage that's going to hit me for. Oh boy, if that would have been a crap, I would have been so mad. Um, this is where Bulbas kind of lacks, because Bulbas will Oko this thing and gain most of her health back, if not all of it. Yeah, most of it's back, but it's not going to be able to take hits as well as most of the other members of the party. So, Bulbas gets some experience. Stantler is the final Mon in today's episode. So we're going to go into Cheryl, because Cheryl's got freaking... 234 HP, almost, to, which could end up being like three. We could end up seeing Cheryl get close to 300 HP by the end of this let's play. That's crazy to think about. Cheryl could have close to 300 HP by the end of this let's play. Because Cheryl's got how many? I think it was like it's 14 levels. Yeah. Because level 66 will be the Elite Four if we get there. So 14 times 5, oh yeah, Cheryl's definitely going to have more than 200, because she's getting around 4 to 5 each level. So, are we getting HP from that, or no? Oh no, we're still losing some. This cannot be, how can I lose? I don't know. All I know is this pain split is kind of annoying. Okay, I really can't heal. Oh, will you use pain split now? Probably not. Oh no, you are! Okay, so you're gonna give me health now. Not that much, actually. Keep using Pain Split. Good. Good, 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 good. I'm just losing health very slowly, but that should be enough to oak health. It's not. Although, with the fact that it's continuing to use Pain Split, we're now at a 36 HP. Ugh. I don't like being in the red. Being in the red is scary. But anyway, Stanler is gone. And champion Liliana, which is basically, you know, Cyrus is dead. Don't think you can defeat or capture that Pokemon. It's this bizarre world. It's none other than the Pokemon itself capturing it. Or defeating it will take this, make this world disappear. Very well. Do what you will. Rather than repairing the world, you're going to destroy it for me. Do it. You inherit my legacy. Well, I mean, okay. Don't believe his lies. It's not possible. For that Pokemon.
But that Pokemon can make the world to just disappear. The world awaited your birth, not only yours either. The Pokemon with you, and the people close to you. All the Pokemon and people were born because they have a part in this world. I'm convinced of that. Garatina won't go out of existence. This distortion world won't disappear. Our world won't disappear either. Let's go meet Garatina. Oops! I should do something about your hardworking Pokemon first. Thank you, Cynthia! You're awesome! Although Garatina's not going to be actually Garatina, which is... I think that's the scariest part, is that this Garatina... Okay, I'm, I'm just, just going to get this over with quickly. Is that this Garatina might not actually be Garatina. Okay, um, let's see what legendary it is. It could be, it could be a good, very good legendary. It could actually just be Garatina, which would be kind of funny. It's not supposed to be, but it could have randomized itself to Garatina. Garatina was randomized into Garatina! Um, that's really funny! For all this music. I need to listen to this in the car way, like... Wow! Now, I don't want to waste my Master Ball, right, if I don't have to. Guys, okay, so you got Dragon Claw, which does some decent damage. Dragon Rush is gonna do more. Oh. I said I don't want to waste my Master Ball. But how many encounters do I really have? Oh, what? Well Jeez, I keep thinking about this. Next episode's gonna be a long episode because it's we're getting the three legendaries. I think to avoid, yeah. Yeah, to avoid any problems, I'm just gonna Master Ball. I know that that's like, people are gonna be probably mad, but. Just seems like the most logical thing to do. And then we can check to make sure that the Pokemon of the lake, I'll check to make sure the Pokemon of the lake are randomized. If not, then I'll be interested. Okay, so this Garatina is going to name um, Nanu. Nanu the Garatina. Garatina seems to have understood us. That Pokemon, that shadowy Pokemon, was captured. You're doing so mean this irrational world will remain in existence. Does this mean that it's impossible for me to create the new world? Even even if I made new red change, the new world can't be made. 
why the compe what compels you to protect the two worlds is spirit a vague and incomplete thing so important to you the places were born the time was we spent living the language that we speak we were all different and the presence of the pokemon unites us we share our lives with our pokemon and our happiness grows as we all become greater than we were alone that is why we battle and trade with anyone we choose silence Enough of your blathering. That is how we justify spirit as something worthwhile. That is merely humans hoping, deluding themselves, that they are happy and safe. The emotions rolling inside me rage, hatred, frustration. The only ugly emotions arise because of the own incomplete spirit enough. We will never see eye to eye. This, I will promise, I will break the secrets of the world. With that knowledge, I will create my complete and perfect world. One day, you will awaken to a world of my creation, a world without spirits. Since there is sadness, we can feel joy. With, when there is anger, compassion is born. Let's go back home. The portal where Garatina was should lead us back to our world. Garatina was written in a legend, being the other side of being on the other side of the world. It stands to reason that it has a link to the other side. Yes. This place. It's this send off spring. It's said to somehow lead to the great beyond. And Garatino is said to live in a world opposite of ours. Oh, I'm sincerely sorry. So, it's very rude of me. John, you're incredible, and you are a fantastic, fantastic trainer. Let me say this on all of the uh, behalf of all of them. Thank you. Oh, that's right. I have to go tell Professor Rowan. He was worried about you, so you should visit him in his lab. Where are we? So are we actually officially in a new area? Yes, we are! You know what that means? We get an encounter. So, after all of that, we still have to get another encounter. Okay. So, Garatina could be overshadowed right now. And I could be very sad that I did what I did. But hopefully not. Our Spring Path encounter is a lily. Okay, good. I'm glad Garatina does not get overshadowed today because... It's a Garatina, like, that is a very good mod, and I did not, like I said, I did not want to get overshadowed. Ooh, that's also a Cradelli. I did not mean to, I think I just killed it. Oh, no, I didn't, okay. I was gonna be so sad. I was like, for a second, I really did think I just killed this Pokemon, because that's a fossil Pokemon that's literally one level away from evolution, so. Or, like, actually three levels away from being a Cradelli, so. That's gonna be another pretty good Pokemon. I was like, do we have a normal po Pokemon with normal type moves? We sure do. We also have a Pokemon with Cut, so... I think that's actually going to be the weakest of the moves. So we're going to use our Gastrodon... Oh, Leech Seed! <laughs> really? I hate Leech Seed. Especially when I have a lot... A lot of my team is bulky. So this Leech Seed actually heals a decent... A very good amount of damage. To basically every Pokemon. What is how much is cut gonna do? Oh we got a crit, okay. Wow, you're getting healed more. So I'm gonna have to just slop, I guess. Slop back into Drift Limb. 
because Drip Blim can take the damage, and so this might actually take more than longer than I thought because, you know, I was like, oh, this episode's like 30 minutes. We can get our one encounter and be done. I'll night. Oh wait, yeah, because they're both 70 base power, so I'll just night slash because that's weaker. And it just has a higher chance to crit. Perfect. Okay. Come on, Lily. If you ever will be so kind. Just be caught right now so we can end the episode. No. Oh, rollout's gonna be scary too. Wait, and like I said, this is the typing that's really been wrecking us this entire LP, so being able to attain. BAM! Being able to attain the Lily, that's actually going to be quite good for us. And if it has the right ability, it'll be even better. Probably doesn't. Yes, we're going to give a nickname to Lily. Jerome. Jerome the <laughs> Lily. Transfer to box one. There's nothing else over here, right? I don't know. I'm just testing to make sure that there's nothing else that is over here that I'm missing. Because if there is, I'll be sad. Because I don't really know another way to access this area. Okay, it does not look like there's any other way. There was Magikarp in here. Oh, I wanted that. I would have loved a Magikarp. That would have been that would have meant I would have gotten my Gyarados. So Magikarp and Lily were the two. Oh, there was Electric in here too. But you know, you never know. I might get my Gyarados. The problem is, is it was almost 38, so it's not going to be learning very many moves. So rock climb, go down. Now I feel like I can fly. Because now I'm on a route, like, I probably still on spring path, yeah. But that leads me out into 214. So, Professor wanted to see me, and so he's in Sand Gym, which would be perfect because then we can get the Lake Acuity Pokemon, or Lake Verity Pokemon. So, in the next episode, we will go ahead and do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye!